Could I truly leave New York City? I'm not sure. The difference between New York and LA when it comes to being a real estate agent, and I happen to be licensed in both states, New York is a little rougher and faster. Like, I do 30 appointments a day. Bah, 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 bah. With my car, when I'm in LA, showing, pitching, sun is out, I got my green tea frappuccino, you know, wearing a white blazer. People are cool and slow and everything is, you know, California. It's really hard for me to ever imagine that I would leave New York City. I mean, that is my identity. I came here and I am Mr. New York. It's like my spirit animal. I don't, I can't even see myself not living here. Hi, ladies. Hey. Hey. Welcome. Oh my God, can I just say, this, this is why I love New <laughs> York freaking city. Me too. I'm so connected to New York. The streets are like veins in my body. No, seriously. I've seen every apartment, every corner, every building from every angle. And because I've been spending so much time over 15 years with all the people, the sellers and the buyers, like all the New Yorkers, it's my family. The other thing is that the timing is really bad because my brother, his wife, and the three beautiful kids they have just moved to New York from Sweden to be close to us and the twins. You look like a professional father. I wish I had eight hands. That's the thing with twins, you know? It's like, there's never enough hands. Like, I've been living away from my brother for 15 years to finally now, for the first time, be together like a family in New York City. If I was alone and single, I would never even consider it, I think. But now I have a family, I have a husband, I have two kids, and I have to think what's best for us. She's very opinionated. I don't know who she would get that from. <laughs> This is like a life-changing, major, massive decision, and I gotta take some time to think about it. Hey guys. <laughs> Subscribe if you like the video. Click here to watch more.